After spending a week with EA Sports Madden NFL 23 on Series X, it's been a mix of incredible highs and some frustrating lows. Service stability has been a major issue for anything online, but the game on field is much improved over recent entries. Let's break it all down and see if this one is worth your 70 bucks in the Xbox era review of EA Sports Madden NFL 23 for the Xbox Series X and S. As stated, I am reviewing the Xbox Series version of Madden, which is quite different from the previous gen, and sadly PC. A lot of the new gameplay systems have been implemented this year, which we'll get into in a bit. First things first though, and that is the incredible work that has been done to honor the late, great John Madden. He is all over the game, and the opening video is a love letter to the 30-ish year old franchise. Madden has had its up and downs, but right out of the gate, I had a feeling that this was the year they had been building to. It's sad to see that the PC doesn't get the full new game, because I've had a lot of fun with it. Starting things off is in All Madden mode, where the game takes two teams comprised of John Madden's favorites throughout the years, and they compete against each other, each with a version of Coach himself on the sideline. The game has two graphical options, and at first I was playing in the performance mode to gain extra FPS. After trying out the quality one though, it's where I stuck because it simply looked far better during actual gameplay, and truly next gen, though in between plays it is limited to 30 FPS, at which can look a little jittery at times. You get two versions of Coach Madden on the field, and it's pretty much an all pro game and a great way to get introduced to the game's new mechanics. And there are a lot of new ones, and the game actually starts off with you going through and choosing just how you want to play it. The biggest change to me was the new passing system, which emphasizes player control and how important keeping a clean pocket is. The game does a masterful job of tutorializing every single aspect of football. It'll happily run you through every freaking rule of the sport, well almost, in the help section and it's great to see. The new passing system has three types of passes, you've got lobs, touch, and bullets. A quick press of the target button gets you a lob, a short hold is a touch, and a long hold is for bullets. Along with this, you can use the left stick to aim in a small area around your final target to influence the direction of the throw. And the big new thing is that you can hold down left bumper to try and make it a catch that only your receiver can reach. It's a bit hard to learn, but once you've practiced it enough, I thought it felt great. And pressure is more important than ever, as quarterbacks will be supremely accurate when given time. Get in their face though, and all but the top players in the league will lose their poise and their accuracy along with it. The default settings do feel like they favor the offense, as I was able to march up and down the field pretty easily on the computer at times. I tried to play online, but the servers have been on fire for most of my review process, which is concerning, as a lot of this game is tethered to being online. Graphically, I think the game looks fantastic, and the new animation system leads to some great looking tackles, along with a few hilariously broken ones. They call it the Hit Everything system, and allows for mid-air tackles, assisting in a pileup, and more ability to try and force turnovers. On the quality mode, players' faces and uniforms look fantastic, and if you're spectating a CPU versus CPU match, it can even fool you into thinking it's real life on occasion. The stadium models are better than ever, and the crowd looks far more alive and human than they have in recent years. The soundtrack is good if you're into rap and hip-hop, and modes-wise, it feels a bit… standard. I didn't see any basic offline season, which was concerning, and the franchise mode is definitely tethered to being online. The big thing, of course, is the ultimate team mode, which is front and center at all times, and even features a season pass style functionality. We were supplied with the All Madden edition for review, which gave a ton in the way of Madden Ultimate Team currency, and I was able to create a rather powerful team quickly with a rating of 82 overall. It's the same broken pay to win style mode as always, and you either love it or you hate it. Face of the franchise is the new cringe-tastic single-player narrative mode. I created a quarterback and played through a few games where the dialogue and cutscenes were as cheesy as ever. It's fun to play through solo, though I did not like the more pushed-in camera while playing. It made it a bit harder to read the field than in the normal game types. Bug-wise, I did run into a lot of graphical issues, with textures and lighting popping in and the servers, as previously mentioned, being incredibly slow to react most of the time. That's a bad thing, as most of the game's menus do seem tethered to being online, and it made doing anything in the Madden Ultimate team a massive chore. EA had a lot of talking points they sent us along with the review code. I've hit some of the animation and passing stuff, but another key area they wanted to point out, and it did seem pretty cool, is how the franchise mode works. 
There is a brand new in-depth free agency system that adds a lot to the real life feel of the mode. And the scouting system was also quite a bit of fun to go through as it offered up key information as I tried building the best franchise possible. There is more of a depth to the mode that felt a little daunting to me personally, but for wannabe home executives, it seemed like a dream come true. They've added in more evaluation periods, player motivations, and salary cap functions, which added to the complexity and realism of being a GM. I did lose myself going into the far deeper scouting system as well, where there was a plethora of information breaking things down. Also, working in tandem with that new skill-based passing system is more of a cat-and-mouse approach to defensive backs and wide receivers. I normally play as a lineman and try to crush the quarterback, but once I got the hang of it, I really enjoyed playing as a defensive back and trying to shadow the opposing team's top target. I did fail spectacularly a few times giving up big plays, but I had my fair share of breakups and interceptions. The entire on-field package just feels better than it has in recent years to me. In conclusion, on the field has seen a marked improvement over last year. The overall presentation is great, but the microtransaction heavy focus still detracts from things for those interested in the Madden Ultimate Team mode. Being tied to online servers for so much of the game's functionality is worrisome when those servers have been in such rough shape during this launch period. Also, the game is 70 bucks on series consoles, which is a big ask for a yearly title. Overall, I think it's a step in the right direction that I hope carries the franchise back to its once great heights. Thank you so much for watching, and if you can like, comment, and subscribe, it's the best thing to help the channel grow. And we'll see you here next time on Xbox Era.